know there are over 800 monasteries and convents in England, staffed by around 10,000 monks, nuns and friars? Can you imagine the cost of maintaining these houses and all their staff? Now, I'm not the first to try and close some of these places down. In fact, one of my predecessors, Cardinal Wolseley, tried but failed. However, now the king is the supreme head of our church. The monasteries are no longer protected by the Pope in Rome. Instead, they have the power of the king against them. And as I, Thomas Cromwell, Lord Chancellor of England, am the instrument of the king, they also have me against them. I don't plan to dissolve the great monasteries first. No, I will begin by closing the lesser houses and redeploying their income. I have commissioned two great surveys, one to find out exactly what each of the monasteries are worth, and the other is to see what the monks are up to and are they behaving themselves.